Hello guys, thanks for coming back again if you are my subscriber and if you are yet to subscribe you just have to click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it to notify you when we drop our new video. We want to look at the Y 2022 physics practical electricity today and as you can see just like we used to do we have the question, the diagram and the procedures required for the experiment on the board. So now let us look at the diagram, let's study it ourselves. Here we have a potentiometer PQ of length L and we have the jockey. We are going to make the connection in this form and we have a standard ohm resistor of 2 ohms. Then we have two cells connected in series alongside the diameter and the key. So you are going to set up the diagram as it is in this diagram and then we follow the procedures that uh, exceed the diagram. Okay, I'm going to show you my setup and eventually start the experiment, but let us go through the procedure just like we did on mechanics. So, going through the procedure. So, let's look at the procedure now. Let's follow it step after step. So, we have the first one which says that you are provided with potentiometer, two cells and other materials. I think the other necessary materials are stated in the diagram. Okay, now, arrange the apparatus as shown above, like I've said earlier. So then the second step says, without making contact with the jockey, close the key and record I0, the correct I0. We are recording that. Then, with the jockey in contact with the potentiometer at L equals 20 centimeter, that means we're going to make the contact with the potentiometer at 20 centimeter, close the key and measure the water current I. So which means we are having values of current being measured at various distance. So now let's look at the next step. Repeat the procedure for L equals 40, 60, 80 and 100. So we have five uh, values to be recorded in the table. Then in each case we evaluate our I inverse in each case. Then tabulate your reading like you have said. Then we have uh, plot the graph of I inverse against L. That is what the graph is talking about now. So let's look at the next slide of the procedure. All right, just few left. Determine the slope S of the graph, then evaluate R equals S over I naught. Then at the end of the day, we have to take two precautions of, to obtain accurate results. And now, I've said earlier, you can prepare your table ahead. So now let's look at the serial number, then what other values are we recording from the table? We are going to record our i, then in that case we are going to find i naught. Okay, before that, let us put our l in place. So we have l, then we have i, and we have i inverse. So however, you can put the units centimeter, this is um, uh, ampere, and this one is what? Ampere inverse. So in this case, we have five values, which is one, two, three, four, five. So in each case, we are looking for 20.0, we have 40.0, we have 60.0, uh, 80.0, and 100.0. So in each case, we are going to record our I and I inverse. So this is my table. This is the table of the experiment. So now, as we perform the experiments, we record our I and continue with evaluating our I inverse so that we can plot our graph. Okay, let's look at how the experiments will go now. Okay, uh, this is the arrangement it has been made already and we have a meter here. This is a meter zero to three. And we have the potentiometer here, as you can see. Then we have the key. The key is here. Then we have the jockey. This one called the jockey, and then we have the two ohm standard resistor. So the connection has been made already, but I'm going to bring the camera around now for you to see how the connection has been made so you understand the, the diagram. So you will be able to understand the diagram. So now I'm going to bring the camera around for us to see now. So let's look at the way it is arranged. Look at the potentiometer, then we have the key here, 
as you can see the key in position we have a cell this is the cell here then we have the cell is connected look at this connection to the potentiometer directly and then from the potentiometer there was a loop that goes to the resistor this is the loop actually so along this loop we connected our jockey along that loop we connected the jockey and that goes to the what resistor then from the resistor we go to the what to the key and from the key we come back to the what ammeter then that is how the diagram is being drawn and that is how we are going to what make the arrangement so we are going to start the experiment now and take our values for i and go ahead to evaluate i inverse so the first step says we should uh let me put this here so i'll be able to read very well so now we are meant to put the jockey okay put the jockey of the potentiometer and take the readings of the ammeter when there was no contact with the potentiometer so now let's take that so i'm holding the battery in place then look at the key here so by the time i try to close the key on closing the key i see the reading of the uh ammeter i can see 0. 6 right here 0 0.6 so that is a high note 0 0.6 so i'll put that in my table anyway whenever you take reading from any instrument try to record it in two decimal places in your table and the reading given to you from the person should be in one decimal place and after your evaluation you make the i inverse three decimal place so now let us make contact as 20 and see what the value will be okay i will have to reconnect the jockey again okay We are going to make the contact with the potentiometer as 20 centimeter. So let's do that now. So and that's what I'm doing here right now. So I'm doing that. I have to close the key. I'm closing the key and make my readings. So when I take my reading now, I'm having wow. I'm having 0.5. Five. I think little deviation from from um, zero point six zero. That's I not. So I'm having zero point five five. So let's put that into record. Zero point five five. So we have 0 0.55. So now we are going to make contact at 40 now to see what we're going to have. So let's make our contact at 40. Okay. Okay, the key is closed already. Okay, but well the battery needed to be touched. So I can see 0 0.4. 0 .4. Okay. 0 0.48 0 0.48 0 0.48 now let's go for 60 60 after making the contact then I close the key so I have my 60 here so going for 60 now now I close the key. Okay, this is zero point zero point five. No, zero point. Okay, let's say zero point. Uh, let me take my forty again. This probably have. 
made a parallax error. So let's take the 40 again. Okay, 40 is 0 0.552, just a little bit away from 5. Let's say 52. Okay, 0 0.52 is there. Zero point five two. So now let's go for sixty, because I'm reading the uh, different values or almost the same value with the previous one I made. So in this case I have okay. I think this is less than five now. Okay. Zero point five. Let's say zero point four nine five. Okay. With this, let's say zero point four nine. 0.49 so let's go for 80 now 80 so 80 on the potentiometer I read that please the jockey so okay I'm saying 0. 0 0.35 okay 0 0.35 0 0.35 so now what next let's see what goes around with 100 let's see what goes around with 100 so and then key is closed okay 0 0.2 let's say 0 0.2 0 0.28 okay 0 0.28 so uh this is our table now from the experiment and we saw that at 20 we have 0 0.55 amp here we have 0 0.52 0 0.49 0 0.35 and 0 0.28 so in this case, we are meant to evaluate the I inverse. So on doing that, I'm going to have 1 all over 0 0.55. So to actually give me, excuse me. So we have 1 over 0 0.55 to give me 1.82. Okay, sorry, 1.818. So I'll leave that in. Uh, three days map list since I'm making my evaluation the table should be in three days first day. so one divided by 0 0.52 that gives me 1.923 so then the next one is uh, one divided by 0 0.49 so that gives me 2.041 then the next one is what one divided by 0 0.35 that gives two point eight five seven. Lastly, I have one divided by zero point two eight. So and that gives me three point five seven one. These are the values of the table. Let us go and plot that into our graph and see how our graph looks like. Find the slope of the graph, evaluate this formula, and then state our precautions. So let's look at the graph now. Like I've copied the table here, as you can see the table now. So we have just what we have on the board, our I naught, uh, I and then I inverse of which we, the value is already on the board. So now let us choose a scale. We are plotting according to the uh, question. We said we should uh, uh, plot a graph of I inverse against L. So L is going to be our uh, X axis. And I inverse will be our vertical axis, which is, uh, let's say, horizontal axis is our L, vertical axis will be I inverse. Now, let us look at the scale that is preferably for plotting I inverse. So, I inverse is within the range of 1.8, let's say 1.81 to 4. 1.81 to 4. So from 1.81 to 4, let us choose a scale that will be suitable. So now, which means I can just take 2 cm to 0 0.5. So if I take 2 cm to 0 0.5 on uh, vertical axis, 
So I'm going to have, look at it here, 0 0.51, 1.52, 2.52, 3.54. I think we have 3.5 here. So yes, 3.5. So I can actually take it from here. So I have 0 0.51, 1.52, 2 2.53, 3.54. So I think from here now we can pick it up. That is on our vertical axis. Then horizontal axis I can use 2 centimeters to represent 10. So that I can have, uh, that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well, probably I can take it. Okay, let's take from here. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, let's take from here. That will be 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So like I've said, I'm picking from here. So let's rule our x-axis from this side. So let's take our x-axis from this side. So that's my x-axis. As you can see, the x-axis, this line is the x-axis. So now let's go for y-axis, like I've said. So the y-axis will be at the end of the graph, of the edge here. So, so that is my y axis so look at how the graph looks like so we have y axis here and then x axis here so don't forget here is point zero so from here i'm going to have 10.0 i'm going to have 10.0 here then here we have 20.0 that is on this line then the next line, 30.0, 40 .0, 0, 50.0, 60.0, 70.0, 80.0, 90.0, then 100.0. So then on x-axis, on vertical axis rather, I'm going to have uh, 0 0.5, 0, then I'm going to have 0. Point uh, sorry, that is 1.00, then I'm going to have 1.50 on this side now, then I'm going to have 2.00, then I have 2.50, then 3.00, then 3.50, then 4.00. So that is what I have on my vertical axis as you can see then this will be negative vertical axis so i can label that with minus 0 0.50 then minus 1.00 minus 1.50 like that so now let's start fixing our values for from the table so let us start plotting the values when l is 20 i have 1.82 let's say 1.82 so when x is 20 i have 1.82 and don't forget that each box because we use the scale of zero as uh, two centimeters to 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 divided by 10 is going to give me 0 0.05 0 0.05 times 2 give me 0 0.1 okay i have 0 0.05 okay i'm talking about 1.82 1.82 so so 1.82 so let us now know how to locate 1.82 so to locate that i'm going to divide 1.82 by the, the value of each line which is each box on y-axis and that is 0 0.05 and that gives me 36.4 and i know each 10 centimeter from here i have 10 20 30 so then i count six one two three four five six so point four will just be not up to half of that and that goes for 20 so i have so in this case i'm going to have the next value from 30 sorry from 40 i'm going to 0 0.192 so let's just put that 0 point uh sorry uh 1.92 rather 
1.92 from 40 to 1.92 so this is 1 1.8 1 1.50 so this is 1.82 so 1.92 is going to be so for 1.92 i'm going to count 38 Point four, so that's from forty. Then I have ten, twenty, thirty. So that's thirty-eight. That would be point four. This is thirty. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this falls here. Anyway, this graph is going to be funny. So let's look at the next value. So we have sixty to two point. 0 for so let's say two points uh, let's say two exactly so 60 to 2 I have this this graph is a funny graph looking at the straight line is very very funny so then I have 80 to 2.8 2.8 80 to 2.8 so 80 goes to 2.8 Five, seven. So let's say two points. This is two point five. So two point eight is going to be um, two point one, uh, two point six, two point seven, two point two point eight. So two point eight five should be here. So we are going to put that here. We're going to put that here. Oh, now the last one goes for uh, 100 to 3.57. 100 to 3.57. 100 to 3. This is 3. Then 3.5 is this. So 3.57 falls somewhere. This is 3.5. Uh, 1. 3.5. 2. 3.57 this goes here ok we have fixed 3.57 so let's see how the graph goes now I can see the 3 fitted line on the graph but the problem we have now is just that 2 are not exactly on the graph line so but we are going to plot the three straight away. So let us pick. Now, so let's join this together to get our straight line. I only have three lines on the graph, best fitted lines. So, and definitely we're going to have an intersect on y axis. So, we are going to record that even if we are not using according to the procedure and if it requires us to use it from the procedure we make use of it so this is the graph now as you can see so let's look at the graph now so this is the graph let us now uh, determine the slope of the graph so I have an intercept here of which we are going to read and that is zero minus 0 0.6 so my intercept C my intercept C is minus 0 0.6 and don't forget the intercept fall on y-axis and don't forget the unit on y-axis is uh, ampere inverse and the unit on x-axis is centimeter so your intercept is going to be minus 0 0.6 ampere inverse so that is the unit minus 0 0.6 ampere inverse as you can see it here right here so now the next thing is let's determine the slope of the graph so by drawing this loop from a bigger value i love this okay let's take it from here okay i would lo love to take my slope from a better place that is the value of my 80 okay let me join it to don't let me take it this long so then I take it up to 0 0.5 so this is my change in 
this is my change in uh, AI inverse and this is my change in L. So the slope of the graph is S equals change in I inverse over change in L. So I'm to read that on the table. So let's read the value from here. This is um, two points. I think we take this value for 80. So that is 2.85. So I take 2.85 here as the y2 or i inverse 2 so that's 2.85 minus the next value is 0 0.5 0 0.5 divided by so let's take the value of change here that's 82 this is i'm having 10 years so which means each one is two so i'm going to have uh one two three so that is 23 so I'm having 20, sorry. So I'm having 23 on that. So let's record that 23. Sorry. So I have 80 to 23. So let's subtract that 80 minus 23. So look at these values. So then let's find the change and see what will happen. So 2.85 minus 0.5. That gives me 2.35 divided by 80 minus 23. So that gives me 57. So the slope of the graph is 2.35 divided by 57. So and that is 0 0.041. That's the value of the slope. So then what will be the unit of the slope? You know, I inverse is ampere inverse and we have centimeter. So that will be ampere inverse per centimeter. So I'm going to have ampere inverse per centimeter. So this is the value of the slope and the unit of the slope. Now, we are told to evaluate, according to question ix, we are told to evaluate r equals s over i naught. So r will now be what? s, which is s, that is uh, the slope. 0 0.041 divided by i naught, which we recorded to be 0 0.6. So then I have 0 0.014, uh, sorry, 41 divided by 0 0.6. So that gives resistance equals 0 0.068. And this should be in ohms. Anyway, we were not told that R is resistant, but let's put it as 0 0.068 ohms. So that is the value of R. Now, the last question says, state two precautions to obtain accurate results. However, uh, looking at these experiments from the beginning to the end now, we can see that we make use of some instrument like the potentiometer and the ammeter. One of the uh, precautions that should be taken is, when you are recording your practical, you should say this, I ensured that, I ensured tight connection rather. In all your connection, there should be a uh, tight connection. The wire should be fit very well. So I ensure tight connection in what? In my setup. Then secondly, I avoided parallax error in making use of my ammeter and the potentiometer because these two devices need to be measured in the error you are talking about. Then I ensure that the key is what is opened when reading and not taking to avoid uh, dropping of the battery's potential. So those are the three precautions I have to give now. So, but you are meant to give just two. So, thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you. And be expecting more of YAC 2022 series for chemistry and biology. Thank you very much.